The ideas expressed in the following presentations are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views of ACI or its committees. ACI web sessions are recorded at ACI conventions or other concrete industry events and will be made available for viewing free of charge for one week. Thereafter, they will be archived on the ACI website or added to ACI's online CEU program depending on their content. You can earn continuing education credits through ACI's online CEU program. Visit www.concrete.org to register. ACI conventions provide an opportunity for networking and for keeping up to date with the latest in concrete technology and practices. I'd like to introduce Raj Patel. He and his, his um, co-author Fred Kenny uh, put this together. And uh, Raj is Director of Engineering and Research for Ceratech and uh, very well learned on the subject. So Raj, uh, will you come up and uh, we will get you going. Good afternoon, everyone. And thanks for attending uh, this session. Let me also thank my co-author and boss, uh, Fred Kenny. And it's always good to thank boss, especially when he's present here. Before I move to center theme of the today's presentation, let me briefly introduce uh, this green technology and how it is uh, significant for today's uh, hot topic, sustainability. Sustainability in general defined with the three parameters, social, economic, and environment. When we are talking about sustainability of concrete, two parameters out of the three are very important. One, economical parameter, and second is the environmental parameter. The durability of the concrete usually covers the economical parameter of the sustainability. Concrete should have long service life and low life cycle cost in order to serve this economical parameter. In last two, three, three decades, our researchers, engineers, concrete professionals did excellent job. They gave us the high-performance concrete uh, with uh, long service life and reasonably low life cycle cost. I think we did pretty good job for the economical uh, parameter of the sustainability. But today, real matter of concern is the environmental parameter. We can't afford to give a lot of negative environmental impact to our uh, new generation. Lot has been told. I don't want to elaborate. And here is our uh, green technology. At 2012 International Congress Sustainability last year, we first presented green concrete using 100% flyspeed hydraulic binder. When we are talking about 100% flash activated cement, this technology easily misunderstood with the geopolymer cement. Let me emphasize here, this is not a geopolymer cement. Why? Well, three reasons. The one, geopolymer cement needs a highly caustic activator to begin with. While this technology, this green technology, don't need the uh, caustic activator. The activator used in this technology are made out of renewable organic materials, close to neutral pH and very safe to human being. Second, the geopolymer cement needs the elevated temperature for the curing, at least for the couple of days. While this concrete can be mixed, placed and cured at the air temperature, at the room temperature in the air. And still it has a different, uh, different uh, strength curve. And third thing, unfortunately geopolymer cement do not have control over the set time. When geopolymer cement used with the class C flyers, high calcium uh, flyers, it's set uh, within few minutes or if not set, it lose the uh, you know, flowability or workability within few minutes. If you use the ASTM class F flyers, 
it practically don't shed until it exposed to the elevated uh, temperature. While here we have the better control for the set time. By simply changing the blend of uh, two activator, we can control the set time of the concrete in a range of 30 minutes to 15 hours. And this is the basic default ingredient of uh, 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 th this uh, fly space hydraulic minder. Class C is 84%, class F is 13.5% and two liquid uh, activator together is the 3.82%. Out of that, 2.5% is the solid part. Let's come to the central portion of our presentation today. This mix is a method for green concrete is following the similar step like the ACI 211 except two important steps. One is the estimation of uh, mixing water uh, for the unit volume of the concrete is significantly different than the Portland cement. And second, uh, 28 day compressive strength versus uh, water cement ratio, that curve is also different than the Portland cement. Let's see the first uh, estimation of uh, mixing water per unit volume of uh, uh, concrete. For the Portland cement, ACI 211 has the simple two uh, tables, one for the non-entrant concrete and another for the air-entrant concrete. And they have the two variables, slump and nominal maximum size of aggregate. Of course, they suggest little bit correction when the different uh, shape and texture aggregate is used and when uh, the uh, water reducing chemical admixture is used. We developed the statistical model for the estimation of the mixing water per unit volume of uh, uh, green concrete with the three variable. One is the slump, nominal maximum size of aggregate and FMCR that is the required compressive strength. W is the estimated mixing water in kg per cubic meter and that is for the non-air entrant concrete. If you are using the air entrant, just simply use the 10% less water. Slump is in mm. FMCR is the 28 day required compressive strength in megapascal. I have given the conversion for the US English unit. If someone don't want to use uh, this uh, statistical model, don't want to solve the uh, mathematical equation, uh, in my research paper I give the five different chart for the different uh, uh, nominal maximum size of aggregate. Uh, here is the example of uh, uh, two chart, one for the uh, half inch top size nominal maximum size of aggregate and this is the one inch uh, nominal maximum size of aggregate. So the two inch lump, four inch. 6 inch and 8 inch slump, you know. So if you know the, uh, what, what is your target for the compression strength, you can get uh, your mixed water requirement by using simplified uh, user-friendly chart. And another different from the uh, Portland cement uh, ACI 211, this is our relationship between the 28 day uh, required compression strength versus the water binder ratio. Uh, blue line is the non air entrant concrete and the pink line is the air entrant concrete. Of course, this follow the Abrams um, water binder ratio theory, but it has a different set of curve. Let's see the uh, sample competition. Uh, similar method by the uh, ACI 211. And this is the simple data. Uh, if you are required uh, 35 MPA uh, compressive strength uh, concrete 5000 psi. If we have the target slump 100 mm uh, 4 inch, our nominal maximum size of aggregate is 1 inch HTM number 57 limestone, and uh, here is the specific gravity of uh, different ingredient. And uh, dry loaded bulk density is also 1698 kg per cubic meter, uh, that is the 2862 pound per cubic yard. And let's see you know, uh, how it works. Let's follow the step by step uh, of the 211. Step 1, 2 and 3 is simple. The data is already given uh, in the uh, our previous data. Our desired slump is uh, 4 inch 100 millimeter. Step 2, nominal maximum size of aggregate is 1 inch 25 mm. 
and our required compression strength is 35 MPa, that is 5000 PSI. Step 4. Use this statistical model. We know the our slump, nominal maximum, uh, just insert the slump value, nominal maximum size aggregate and FNCR value in this uh, uh, equation and by solving this equation it will give the 114 kg per cubic meter uh, uh, water requirement uh, that is 192 pound per cubic yard and if you design the you know, Portland cement concrete with the same data it would at least need 320 pound per cubic yard water so water demand for this green concrete is significantly low Again, if you don't want to solve this uh, mathematical equation, some people don't like mathematical equation, so simply just use this chart. Uh, this is a chart for 25 mm nominal maximum size aggregate. Uh, 4 inch slump is our target. Our required strength is 35 MPa. That gives the 114 uh, kg per cubic meter. That also we got from that uh, uh, previous equation. So step number 5, find the water binder ratio. Our chart and our concrete is non entrant concrete, the blue line. Our targeted uh, required compression strength is 35 mm, so the water binder ratio would be 0 0.30. Step number 6 the binder content or cement content, whatever you will call, uh, mixed water divided by water, uh, water binder ratio. 114 we got from the uh, step number 4, 0.30 we got the uh, step number 5. So that gives a 380 kg per cubic meter, uh, that is 640.5 uh, pound per cubic yard. And now we got the 380 kg per cubic, uh, uh, cubic meter binder content. And here is the default uh, formula for the fly space hydraulic binder. So just um, get the breakup of each uh, component. Class C, we got the 538. Uh, 319 kg per cubic meter, class F 51 and total activator uh, we got the 14.52 and we have we have the two activator and default ratio is 62.38 so we can also get the individual activator uh, quantity per kg uh, per cubic meter or pound per cubic yard. Now our, lacti uh, our activator has a 34.5% uh, water content. So that water content we need to discount uh, from the what water we got, you know. So the, uh, the activator water is 5 kg per cubic meter. So total water we earlier got is 114. So net water would be 109 kg per cubic meter or 183.7 pound per cubic yard. Step number seven, the quantity of coarse aggregate. That is simple. Simply the follow ACI 211 table 6.3.6 .6, and that table uh, gives the volume fraction based on the finest modulus of uh, uh, fine aggregate and nominal maximum size of aggregate. For 2.62 FM and one inch nominal maximum size of aggregate, that table recommend 0.69 volume fraction. We know our dry rotted bulk density of coarse aggregate is 1698 kg per cubic meter. So the multiply with the 0 0.69 that gives the 1172 kg per cubic meter or 1975 pound per cubic year. So we got the uh, coarse aggregate quantity as well. Now step number 8. Simple absolute volume. We know the quantity of all the ingredient except the fine aggregate. So put everything on the absolute volume. Uh, this is our um, uh, US system I gave in this slide. So divided by the um, uh, uh, specific gravity and uh, 62.4 that will give you the uh, volume in cubic feet. So 18.75 uh, total uh, volume we got except the fine aggregate. We also consider the entropy at 1.5%. So solid volume of fine aggregate is 27 minus 18.75. So that will give the 8.25 cubic feet is the volume of fine aggregate. So simply multiply with the uh, specific gravity and 62.4 that gives the weight of the fine aggregate 13.52 uh, pound. 
that is 8, 8.02 kg. So step number 5, uh, step number 9, simple the batch weight, we all uh, got, you know, everything we got, net mixing water, class C flyers, class F, to the liquid activator, NBA 100, NM 300, coarse aggregate and fine aggregate, everything we got. Now, uh, we validated uh, this mixes and method with the three mixes. Mix number one, we already seen in the sample competition. That one had the target 35 MPA, uh, the required compression strength, 100 mm slum, that is the 4 inch. Uh, and we actually got in the lab mix, you know, uh, 106 mm uh, slum and 34 MPA strength. It's very close. Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, second is uh, the non entrant concrete, uh, 41 MPA, and that also match very well. And the uh, last one is the air entrant concrete, 35 MPA target, and that also gives the uh, good result. So this mix is then validated very well. Now let's come to the conclusion. Uh, green concrete has the different water requirement per unit volume of concrete compared to the um, Portland cement concrete. And we gave here the statistical model and the user-friendly chart. The second thing, we also developed the water binder ratio versus the FMC, uh, FMCR uh, chart so that we can get, get the water binder ratio. And more importantly, uh, this green cement is followed the similar step like the ACI 211. Uh, there is no much complicated things. And I'm sure uh, by using this mixed processing method, uh, that would definitely help producing truly green and sustainable concrete using the 100% flies based hydraulic binder. Thank you very much. Any question? Different types of fly ashes, well, different types of plastic fly ashes, they lead to different uh, levels of water system level. So this procedure, this equation, is that valid for all the different appliances? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, generally, the HTN 618 qualified flyers is, you know, meeting our criteria. But we have our in-house uh, quality assurance reactivity test, you know. That test simply says, you know, whether it's a qualified or not qualified, you know. If it is qualified, even though the little bit chemical variation gives them, um, you know, little bit performance, but the water requirement remains same and 28 days strength requires same. The only difference, it gives the different set time and a different um, uh, one day strength, you know. But by simply changing the blend of two activator, we can eliminate that drawback as well. So answering your question, yes, most of the class C flies we can work with. Yes. Please come to the microphone. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, can you comment on the, uh, the viscosity of the knees? I see that the water cement ratio is quite low, water binder ratio is quite low. So, can you comment on the viscosity? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, because uh, we know that the flyers is the glassy and spherical particle, so it needs very low water requirement up front. The second region is the activator. Uh, we have the two activator, and one of the activator is acting as a uh, super plasticizer agent, you know. So that also reduces the water demand, and that is the reason uh, we have the much less water cement ratio compared to the Portland cement. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Raj. Good program.